Thank you to Mariah Avix from 600 Second Saga for guest acting on our show today. If you have a chance, check out her podcast. If you like anything science fiction or fantasy, it's definitely the show for you. We like it, and we think you will too. Now, on to Van Worst. Huh? Oh yes, I've been waiting for this. What is it, Van? Did the Nigerian prince finally send my $4 million? What? I really thought that 4000 would definitely be enough to cover his expenses. Max, if he had $4 million on hand, he wouldn't have needed you to cover his expenses. I told you. Oh, man. Password? Again for this? Why, why are you looking at me like that? Fine. Fluffy bunnies. Wrong! That's the password we give the people who think we might try to spy on us. What? Why would I even... Step aside. Password? Skull penetration. All right. You check out. No funny business this time, though. <laughs> why does he have the password? Eh, we can't really stop him from showing up. All right. Max, that's enough. Let him down here. I don't understand why I'm being subjected to this nonsense. I don't even want to be in this. What is this anyway? Secret society? Vampire Hunters Club. I am a vampire. Why on earth? Because you don't have a choice. We have a new mission. The guild has faxed over instructions. I doubt we are going to have a tough time with this one. What is it now? You're going to the store to pick up a leash. To go with your last life-threatening, terrifying victory. Oh, also that. That is the major reason why you're helping this time, Earl. I should have kept my mouth shut. This time, we are going to eliminate a succubus. We don't know much about our target... We have coordinates for its last known location, but there's one thing we can count on. It's going to be close to as many men as possible. So what do we do? We go to the place, recon and eliminate the target. Simple. What are you looking at? You replace the lights down here with a hanging lamp with one dim bulb. That was Max. There's a Soviet flag on the wall. Also Max. He's got a subscription to some streaming service and has been watching secret agent movies. Why are we set up like the villains, then? They always have the better decorations. Do any of you take anything seriously? Whatever. When do we leave? Right away. There's a cartoon marathon on tomorrow, and I don't want to miss it. Your motivations are astounding. To the Van Van! So... Do we have a battle strategy? Crush it! Obviously, you've never encountered fun of these creatures. So, I fought death and lived. This is not the same. Succubi are more than capable. She will have command over shadow magic. And may possibly have an army of demons. Which is exactly why we need to be quick. Smash and dash. Does no one listen to me? This isn't my first rodeo with a succubus. We identify it, we sneak up on it, we kill it. Period. There is a certain coldness to you that is completely out of character. Don't worry about me. What are we going to be looking for? Typically, they're in the form of a beautiful woman. They lure men in, they suck the life force out of them. Why, girl? What? Oh, come now. You can't compare me to that. Distant cousins, at the best. Vampires suck blood. Succubi suck life energy. Same prey. That is none of your business. All of that is irrelevant. The only good succubus is a dead succubus. Stay focused. Van, I'm not so sure about this. I can't hit a girl. What? You're kidding me, right? This isn't like that. Yes, Max. It's not necessarily female. Their race merely appears female. Hitting a girl is hitting a girl. It is not a girl. It's a violent, murderous beast. We all have our pasts. We're here. 
Get yourself together, man. Just because it looks like a girl doesn't mean it's a female. Go figure. A truck stop. Well, I guess if you aren't picky. I smell food. I'm really hungry. Can we start recon in the diner there? Your appetite is endless. It's not a bad idea. That drive was kind of long, and I wouldn't mind having something myself. We'll start there. Sweet! Freak! Monsters! Van, how do they know? They don't. They're assuming something you're apparently oblivious to. Ignorant fools. Both of you ignore them. We're here for a reason. Let's get moving. You know, I don't mind getting strange if you want some strange. Oh, where did you come from? Don't just sneak up on people. No, madam. We won't be requiring your services. Thank you, and good evening. That was the foulest concert I've ever seen in my own life. Yeah, well, lot lizards are a different kind of company. She didn't look like a lizard. That, uh, isn't what that means. Let's get a seat near the window so we can see the whole lot. Max, you watch the motel. I'll watch the cars. Earl, you watch the restaurant. Looks like that lady is going into the one room with a trucker. Shocking. I've not seen much in the parking lot. Trucks and a few cars. Nothing out of the ordinary. There's a number of humans in here with minimal body temperatures. They are slightly colder than the rest. We are definitely in the right place, then. Coffee? You're a lifesaver. Thank you. Well, that was weird. Yeah, that coffee smells like the mud puddle in our yard. No, no, not, not that. She didn't say anything or take our order. She just smiled and walked away. Not to mention, she is the only woman in here. Look around. Good point. The only thing is, she isn't terrible looking. Succubi tend to be gorgeous. Well, she's certainly way out of any of these men's leagues. That does make sense. Watch her. But don't creep stare. That won't be a problem. That lizard is going in the room with another trucker. Do you think she's got something good in there? It's a lot lizard. And trust me, Max, the only thing that is coming out of there is weakened self-esteem. Did anyone bring the nets? For what? I'm pretty sure that the guy that came out of there is a zombie now. Watch, he's coming in here. Wow, he is really out of it. Maybe she's drugging them. Look, that waitress sat him down, gave him coffee, and walked away. You don't think that... No way. Max, do you know what room that woman is taking these men into? Sure. I want you to go into the parking lot. Keep your distance, but try and see what's going on through the windows if you can. Okay, Van, no problem. Do you think that creature we met in the lot could actually be what we are here for? I hope so. I've been waiting for a long time to get my hands on one of them again. Why do you hate them so much? It's a long, personal story. All right, these bushes look like a great place to hide. I wonder what she has in there that all these guys want. I can see a little bit through the... Well, she's kissing him? Now, dog, it's not nice to smile on people's personal lives. Ah! Jerry! <laughs> How? Whose ass bone do you think you found in the basement? You scared the daylights out of me. I hope you're wearing your brown pants. You need to get out of here. I'm trying to work. Are you kidding me? It's been over a century since I've been out of the house. I'm not going anywhere. Go away, Jerry. Sounds like Van's been rubbing off on you in more ways than one. I'll smash your ass right here, right now. Phrasing, phrasing. Okay, fine, I'm leaving. Did you hear that? That was Max yelling. He probably saw a skunk or something. No, it sounded like fear. The succubus might have him. Let's get there now. Fine. Max! Max! Are you okay? What happened, man? I was watching through the window like you asked, and then Jerry popped up and scared me. Jerry popped up? How? He can't leave the house. 
How could Jerry have possibly gotten here to frighten you? I don't know. Something about his ass. Come on. This could have blown our cover. Could have? Hello, vampire hunter. I should have known right away what you were when you all managed to turn me down. Believe me, madam. It wasn't difficult. Have you looked in a mirror? Well, that was quite rude of you. Maybe you should be taught a lesson in manners. Bring it on. I've been waiting for a chance to do this. See, Max? Told you. Not a real woman. Yeah, Van, I see that. Let's just do this quickly. Max, to the left. Earl, go! <laughs> you don't actually think I'm unprepared. Come forth, my minions. No! The demon army! Oh dear lord, it's... it's truckers. Her army is a mass of truckers that she's drained enough life force out of that... they lost their free will. I thought you were supposed to have demons. My army is fearsome. You're the reject of the succubus community, aren't you? How dare you? Whatever. I'm still going to enjoy this. Cowards! They're running! I'm not a damn demon. I'm a red, you morons. Jerry! I told you he was here. Put a shirt on, Max. You're almost as scary as those fools running away. How are, and why are you here? My secret. It's the power of his ass. What? How does that make any sense? Well, if it's strong enough to drive away a horde of truckers, that's saying something. Ahem. Have you all forgotten what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. We'll be with you in a moment. What? I think she's getting mad. Well, if I don't like that, I'd be mad too. Uh. Well, that was sad. All Van did was hold out a stake. She flew right into it. I told you. I've dealt with them before. Their vanity is easy to provoke. Thanks for the help, Jerry. What? That is the exact opposite reason why I'm here. Why would I help you? Well, thanks anyway. I'm leaving. Screw your worst. Well, who knew he would ever come in handy? Eh, let's go. Gotta get some sleep. Don't want to miss the start of my marathon. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of Van Worst. If you liked what you heard, please rate, review, and subscribe. Also, feel free to join our group on Facebook and look us up on Twitter.